once again attempting to record the strobing effects that electronic screens give off. The strobing effect is a flickering action and I found out that with this uh, very cheap camcorder it is not possible to record it as you normally would coming from the side angle or from the very front of a screen. When it's recorded on the regular television you see it as a vertical or horizontal line rather going rolling up the screen. Um, with these it appears that when I come in close holding the camcorder it will show up as flickering lights get it at just the right angle to portrait and that helped. Now you see all the movement. I'll steady my hand and again it's a flickering. There you see it right there. It's a cross hatch vertical and horizontal lines that you see flickering flickering just a steady movement that's the strobing effect and sometimes you'll see wayward lines if you look at the white you can see the little lines moving across strange enough it's on every one of them you don't notice it with the computer screens you rarely notice it with uh, by looking at them but your eyes are constantly picking this up and this is on the netbook uh, it's more noticeable on the netbook than it is on the laptop and I don't know whether it's because of the larger screen the larger size or the way it is actually assembled or put together or the work inner workings of it I'll say that but it is there and you can see the movement it's almost vertical and horizontal and then you can see a few curvy or wavy lines that are moving it is again on every computer screen or every electronic monitor type screen and so you're bombarded with this daily and don't recognize it or don't realize it but your eyes are very sensitive so they're picking it up and I want to see how noticeable it is on the cell phones because again it is there but most people aren't paying attention to it and you can see it you can really see see the different directions that it's moving it's doing that on all of your electronic screens the smaller the screen the more movement you're having uh, the, there is the flickering uh, the rolling up that you normally see when you're looking at um, a television screen it was able to pick it up just a little bit but it's there and it is recommended that you give your eyes a rest every so often you don't want to sit at the screen especially those that have a job that have to sit at the screen you should take breaks to rest your eye muscles rest your eyes and I'm just pulling away for a moment so that I can see because I don't believe the screen protector yeah the screen protector that you put on really is just to protect the cell phone as you can see the big crack that's going across there now 
this is the first time ever I've dropped my phone over and over again until there's a crack across that screen so I'm heading out to get another one hard case you see that rolling up and down every so often I can catch it and that's on the cell phone it appears to show up as horizontal lines when the screen is about to go dark so I'm going to hold it here until the screen gets ready to go dark again and you'll be able to see the horizontal lines rolling up rather quickly this is what happens on all video monitors be it cell phone there you have it be it a cell phone laptop netbook television it is there and so again I would recommend that you I'm not going to hold it here and wait for the um, netbook to time out so that it will go to sleep but it's there so I would say take the advice that is given to rest your eyes give them a rest every so often I'm going to attempt to log it off and see if you can see the um, rolling but the um, it's recommended that you rest your eyes the eye fatigue can lead to really bad headaches the flickering or strobing effect is bad for those that suffer from uh, epileptic seizures because it could trigger it because it's a flickering light sort of like Christmas lights it flickers really bad and although it's not noticeable um, just noticeable by you with a con on a conscious mind level your eyes are picking all of that up and therefore it's affecting your brain waves it's shutting down so I am not picking up any more flickering from that when it shuts down but it does happen on the cell phone so we love our electronics and they're a necessary part of our life protect your eyes rest them walk away from the computer and allow your eyes to come back to normal a normal state and not have to um, endure so much in the way of eye fatigue until next time thanks folks for tuning in